You're watching Matt Teen TV. Let us all pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy the Bridge Program is just that. We're bridging the gap, if you will, of those needs that are being addressed of individuals that cannot be in a regular classroom but want to be and should be in a regular mainstream classroom but they need assistance they need a help of someone to redirect and to guide them so that they can be a part of that regular classroom and they are now we stretch it out Good. So the, here we are on a weeknight, a school night, a work night, and, and you are here giving of your time. How come? Because I think the faith life of these kids is so important, and I think often they get overlooked because of labels or just people don't think they have the potential, which is so incredibly wrong because these kids, like, given the proper push and guidance, they really are so brilliant and so capable. And it really is just so inspiring to see, and that's worth giving up the time for alone. Like, just seeing them grow and seeing them grow from day one, or even if they came halfway through the year and they're just now getting into the swing of it, you can really see such a big difference. Um, I do this because I love teaching kids and I love the new perspective they bring to things. I'm teaching a little boy um, First Communion right now, second graders. And when I told him that Jesus is really present in the Eucharist, he was blown away. His eyes lit up and he just couldn't believe it. And that made me rethink why I believe in the real presence. And it renewed kind of my passion and love for the Eucharist. So I'm impressed that you guys give up your time to be here. Thank you. Why do you do that? I think that the main thing was, um, I only have two sisters, so I've always wanted like a little brother. And I think coming here and having like a little buddy that I can just hang out with and like have some I fun. I think I know who you're talking about. You do. <laughs> I think having like a little buddy and a little brother, like that's really like made me happy coming here. The being a part of the bridge program just gives you a chance to make a more personal connection with a student compared to being a teacher to them. You get the one-on-one -on -one interaction with the same student each week and you just really build a connection with them and get to help them personally through their faith journey. Our high school teens that help with the bridge program specifically, these are individuals that come on board because they know that they'll be working with special needs children. These children have a lot of different specialities and each one unique, just like our teens. They don't know what they're getting involved in until they meet the teen and the family for the first time. Once they do meet that team and we pair them up at the beginning of the year, they not only have training on faith formation and, but they also have training one-on-one -on -one with the parents, meaning they get to sit with the parents, they talk with the parents about that child, where they are in their faith life, what's going on in their life, what other programs the child is involved in, any and all those situations that make us whole, that complete us as a person. This team helps out a bridge child. Um, for my faith, honestly, it's really humbled me because I've always gone to a private Catholic school for my whole life and to see these kids that don't get the opportunity to go to a private Catholic school and see them grow in their faith like just as much as I have and like they're so brilliant and they can grasp it on such a personal level that it's really, it's really inspiring for me, honestly. I think my faith has grown to show that God is in each and every one of us and that we can grow through serving others and working through like Christ. Um, it's really given me a different perspective. Instead of just learning about it, it's given me an opportunity to teach about it in a sense, helping my different buddies learn and helping them, it's giving me like a different understanding. And then also having to break down the same stories that I've learned for my buddies in different ways, it's given me new understanding of those different stories. Yes. The majority of our teens, I see them 
going on to college and doing some sort of social interaction in their lives. Even if it is a business major, they take with them that perspective and training of volunteering that held true and they're compassionate and understanding. And no matter what their field might be, they might start off being a communication major and wanting to be behind the camera or in front of the camera. And if that doesn't happen and they switch their career goals throughout life, their core value, their faith value remains with them. And I really do feel that these teens have benefited and continue to grow and we in turn grow with them. I mean you think you're here to give of yourself but honestly you get more than you give when you're What, with these what does teams. that mean? Tell me what that means. Um you think you're here to teach the kids and you're like, "Oh, I'm going to teach them about the faith. I'm going to show them how to do these things, how to, you know, receive the Eucharist and stuff." But they come in and they show you like what the Eucharist means to them and like how incredible all this stuff is for them when they're so little and they don't understand everything as you did, they kind of bring it back to a simpler level and they really show you more. Four years into it and you're getting ready to walk away, that's got to be kind of sad. Right? It's very sad. Yeah. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do with myself for the, like, for the rest of forever. I'm hoping I can find another program that's like this, but I really don't think I will. Why? What do you get out of this? Um, at the beginning I was like, you know, this is a lot of hard work because it takes a long time to get acclimated. and. I mean, it's a learning experience for both the kid and you as you like get to know these kids because not one of them is the exact same as the other one. I mean, and um, I mean, it's so special in that these kids have grown so much and like even the kids who I've not specifically had the pleasure of teaching or mentoring with that I've still seen them grow and become more confident with their learning abilities and their own skills and it's just such a beautiful thing because they were such different kids when they came in and now they're like growing up and it's like I'm growing up with them and I've been watching you guys I mean what is it about these buddies Wait, that you have been watching us I have been watching the you whole year? <laughs> no just today <did> <laughs> what, what is it about the buddies that really fulfills your your need to be here Every time you come in here, you see everyone's face and everyone's just smiling the whole time. And it's seeing like the happiness that everyone can bring. It shows that like we're all in it for each other and showing that we can help help these kids learn learn the faith and just show them like how God teaches us that mm -hmm. that's that's the true happiness we can get out of it. Aiden's in second grade, he's receiving his first communion next weekend. And it's gonna be fun. I'll be there with him. We're gonna have we some, have a party. We are gonna have a party. He's gonna come. I I am. How fun. Yeah. You even get to see me play my video games. Really? Yeah. They're no different than us. I mean, they learn about faith a different way, but they are just the sweetest people. And they are just, I mean, they're really just like us. You're a senior, you're headed off to school. Where are you going to school? I'm going to the United States Naval Academy. And you, what do you want to do with that? Um, I probably want to become a Marine Corps infantry officer and then either turn that into a career or use my major in cyber operations to make my own company or work for a tech firm. Sweet. Um, my mom started teaching and then after, so she was my teacher and then my sister made her confirmation and my mom wanted her to continue doing something and not just make her confirmation and end her faith journey there. So she started teaching with my mom and they were in need for buddies so they, through my sister into the program, knowing that she was just a teen teacher and not like an official catechist. And that was just, she did it, had a great time with her buddy and my mom just saw it as a great experience and a good opportunity for us. So she wanted us to keep doing it. And we, I've enjoyed it. I know she really enjoyed it. And we're hoping my brother will enjoy it a lot next year. Has, and your brother hasn't done it at all? No, he's in eighth grade right now. So he has to finish and make his confirmation first. So we'll check in on your brother. Yes, <laughs> yes. But you also give of your time to spread. Yes, I do. I mean, I'm, I'm always blown away by these giving teens that, 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 that right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, am I crazy to think <laughs> that no. how generous of you to give, to give your time. Mm -hmm. So somebody sitting at home watching, um, wh what would you say to, to teens that are sitting at home watching this saying, wow, she's pretty cool. 
I would say to you guys to go try it. Give it a try and see how it makes you feel because honestly I was nervous at first to come work with kids because I used to be kind of an introverted person. But once I start working with these kids, I totally come out of myself and they bring out the best in me. So I just say go give it a try. And you really have the opportunity to do something so beautiful and make a big difference and it's just it's a one-of-a-kind opportunity and all the service that I've done I've never felt anything like it.